And I'm reading something that talks about slavery. You've been identified as a slave and I, I was completely blown away. Fired up and flabbergasted as racist words pack a powerful punch. Now tonight, an investigation into disturbing text messages sent from unknown numbers to black Americans. A lot to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us on this Friday here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. Federal authorities say the texts were sent to black Americans in 17 different states, including a Northern California teen. Your reporter covering San Joaquin County, S. Bob Reynoso, live outside Stockton's NAACP branch. I imagine they're pretty fired up about this, Esteban. Well, Tony Marley, they are frustrated by this here at Stockton's NAACP branch, but they're not surprised by it. They say when there's a political shift like there was this week in America, they prepare for an uptick in racism. And a warning here, some of the texts you're about to read are disturbing. On her way to basketball practice Wednesday, Tasha Dunham's 16 year old daughter received this. It says you've been selected to be a house slave with the address in North Carolina adding quote, you're in plantation group B. I was completely blown away. That was not anything that I ever expected. Dunham shocked not only by the racism in the text message, but also that it was personalized specifically for her teenage daughter. How did they know that your daughter's name first off? And then how do they know that she's black or African-American? I don't know the answers to those questions, and that's what's most concerning for me. We called the 209 area code number the message came from. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. But no answer. Daughter initially was thinking that it was a prank from, you know, one of her friends or something like that. I've learned that it's a targeted demographic. It's mainly black people and children. Thousands of others receiving racist text messages like this saying you've been selected to pick cotton, a troubling national trend that is now being investigated by the FBI, saying, quote, we encourage members of the public to report threats of physical violence to local law enforcement authorities. So why are these messages targeting black people? Bobby Bivens, the president of Stockton's NAACP branch, says it's timely. No, it's not surprising. There was expectation of reaction from various groups and various people, uh, depending on the outcome of the election. He says even before Election Day, all NAACP branches had a meeting with the FBI concerned about an increase in racist attacks. We don't necessarily believe that had the election gone to Vice President Harris, it would have been any different. President-elect Trump has stirred up racism in America for years. And in this situation, it was a text message, right? But in other situations, people have been physically attacked. So thank God that wasn't our situation, but I think it is giving us insight into how things can be and is giving us a preview. Now, the NAACP says that there is a forum where if you have received one of these disturbing texts that you can submit it and all of them will be turned into the FBI. Meantime, a Trump spokesperson responded by saying the campaign, quote, had absolutely nothing to do with these texts.